now, fittingly, Jackie is here with ideas on how to serve your holiday feast. And you know what, Jax? I have a feeling it's going to be a very quiet holiday season for so many of us. Is that what you're thinking for yes. you and your family? Yeah. Oh, yes. I mean, 2020 has been quite a year, Trace. And I think that when you're, as the holidays are getting closer, I think that we're all thinking, let's think intimate, family, you know, just your immediate family, and just think about how you're going to entertain. But that doesn't mean that it can't be stylish, right? So I decided that what I would do was dispense with a more formal kind of dinner and kind of reinvent the buffet. So in other words, I'm going to let my immediate family, and anyone else can do this too, just graze the entire day. And something else too is that when you've got you know, whether you just decide to do sweet and savory all day or whether you decide to put the turkey out on a buffet table, both can work equally well and everyone can be well fed and happy during the, the holidays. Well, that's what we're all looking for. So show us how you've set up your room, Jax. Okay, so what I did is, and anyone can do this, I had two console tables that I pushed together to make a nice big long table. And then I did some foraging in my linen closet and I decided that what I would do was add sort of a, a, a little bit of a soft icy blue to a traditional color scheme this year, which is of course red and green. So red, green and icy blue became the theme. And I also looked at my linen napkins and I don't use those all the time, but it's the holidays so I pulled those out. And to keep with the theme, I basically just folded them really simple, unpressed, which is a really cool look and put some pretty red ribbon, added a few little seasonal cedars and some berries, and I just added that to the table. So people can grab that, they can get their cutlery, put out your pretty plates, and again, think season. So I had some really pretty plates that just have some little Christmas trees on them in keeping with that natural kind of organic vibe. And the other thing that I pulled out, Trace, was my tiered servers and you can use them in a lot of different ways so I one of them was to actually take some little presents and just fill it with pretty presents so again it's a quiet Christmas maybe you're playing games maybe these become little prizes that you give out to your kids these could be even little stocking stuffers and it's just such a really pretty way and on, on, you know to keep that that holiday theme going but you can't forget of course food and so i actually went to blossom bakery and i got the most beautiful meringues that i have to say i color coordinated <laughs> and i think it's really important we support our food industry i really do so you can order online curbside pickup i think we can still do those kinds of things and support them and then the other thing that i know you're going to love is flowers and these are beautiful this is a waxed and it's red which works with my colors amaryllis and so you don't have to water them you simply leave them i pop them throughout the table they will grow and they will flower throughout the holiday season oh you said a lot of things i like i like the unpressed linen napkins <laughs> being cool i like that too yes. and i like the no watering part of the amaryllis that is awesome now talk to me a little bit about your lighting your Absolutely. candles Okay, so I'm totally into black candles, and I've been using them all year, but they looked so edgy on my table. So even though I had my red, green, and soft blue scheme, I felt that it kind of edged up the table. I also had black cutlery, which I just arranged. I just put some little ribbons. I tied them into grouping. So again, it's that grab, get your plate, and just eat and enjoy. Oh, I love that. Black cutlery is so chic. So uh, talk us through the way you've set up the buffet. How I've done it? Well, I've added lots of greens and I don't forget more lights. I mean, even though I've done candles, you can also add string lights, just kind of garland them through, do lots of clippings. And, you know, we've talked about foraging. It really is an organic way that we're looking at our lives these days. We're just going back to nature. So clipping some cedars and just some boughs and tucking them in around your, your, your surface just makes it look really, really festive. And, uh, and don't forget a bar cart, by the way. That's super important. I love, um, I love bubbly, so I love the Trius bubbly. So I usually just keep it simple for people, just do a one alcohol station. And that way, people can just help themselves. Just make sure the ice bucket is filled with ice and people can just serve themselves. And for little ones, I mean, you can always do what we used to call bubble juice, which is just ginger ale. So everybody can have a little bit of fun during the holidays. There's nothing like bubble juice, you know, whether it's for the kids or the grown-ups. I think that's fantastic. <laughs> and I think it's nice that maybe the time we're going to be yeah. saving on hosting oodles and oodles of people, we might be able to do the extra.
extra little things for our own little bubble. So really great ideas there, Jax. Thanks for I that. So. Really good.